guys so welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i am here to show you guys how to make patch jeans today but before we get started i just wanted to mention that i did release some new clothing in my group i know you guys been waiting for this one and i know it's only four clothes but i swear that there is more to come and i think i'm gonna be sticking with like a brandy melville slash princess polly type vibe and um you know it's just like a mix of like soft and like elegant clothes so yeah if you want to go check that out my group is a lovable with a little dot <laughs> so yeah go check that out anyways without further ado let's get on with the video all right so yesterday i asked you guys like which software you would like me to make the patch jeans tutorial on and 77% chose Pixlay. I am totally fine with this. I was kind of hoping for paint.net, something a little different, but it's it's okay. We we got this. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two different type of versions of patch jeans. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of blurry because, you know, that's what our homegirl does. So this version here is just basically like patches everywhere like the whole jean is a patch so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that and for this it's basically just like wash jeans with like three patches and that is also what i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this will be a long process but we got this stay confident stay true you guys got this never give up and yeah i love you all so so much let's get on with it so I think we're going to start off with these wash jeans and just like three patches because that's like the easier version. So all I did is import my regular template and now I'm simply going to go to layer, new layer, and then just click and drag underneath the template layer. Once that is finished, I suggest starting off with a white color just so you can like see it more if you're using a transparent template. So we are going to start off by making the outline of the jeans. So we are going to go to the shape tool here, go to bezier. Um, I suggest using two for the outline size. We're going to zoom in and I say make a line right underneath the second pair of Christmas lights, which means like the middle of the template. So just do like right below the middle. Once you're here, you're just going to want to play around with the lines here. All I'm doing is moving my mouse and you should have this effect. So just create like a arched a line like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to change to the line tool here and we're just going to connect each side of the torso. Alright, so once that's finished, we are going to go to the arrange tool and we're going to click duplicate. And we're just going to drag it right underneath, creating a space in between the first line. Once that is finished, we are going to click Control plus 6 on our keyboards. So just hold down Control and 6, and it should merge the layer. So now, quickly, we are going to make like the bottom of the jeans, so basically where the jeans ends. So we are going to go back to the Shape tool, go to the Line or Bezier, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to make like, it could be a straight or a diagonal line, it doesn't matter. But we're just going to make lines right above where the foot would go. Obviously you can go higher, but I think this is pretty like basic. Like, it just looks nicer if like your little foot shows a little bit. It would be definitely different if you added shoes, you would make it way higher. But since we're not adding shoes, we're just going to keep it like this. So once this is finished, we are going to create a new layer. So go to layer here, new layer, and we are going to move it underneath the little lines we just made. And now we are going to create the zipper and like the pockets and the little belt holes. So for this, I suggest using the Bezier tool mostly. We're going to zoom in here and we're just going to make a straight line in the middle here. Let go and then make an arched line like so. So now we are going to create the little 
zipper part. So um, to do that, I usually go to the shape tool. I start off with a straight line. So go to line, make a little line going down, which is connected to the curved line that we just made. I suggest not going all the way down because that'll just look weird. We're gonna go with there. If it's too long, you can obviously go to the select tool, click and then select and click backspace on your computer to delete if you don't like the length. Um, after that, we're gonna go to shape again. We're gonna go back to the line tool and now I'm just gonna make a straight line going down, but not the same length as this line. So now I'm gonna go to the Bezier tool and we're gonna click where this line ends and make a diagonal line going to the other line. Let go and then move it so it kind of connects like that. Trust me guys, that part was probably so confusing, but if you keep practicing, I know you'll get it. So since I don't like where it's placed, I am going to go to the select tool. I'm going to select this little zipper here I'm going to go to the arrange tool and I'm going to move it up a little bit. Click anywhere to stop the select. And now as you can see the line is going past this other line which we don't want. So I'm going to select that, press backspace on my computer, click anywhere, and then boom. So now if you want you can just merge the layers. So just click control six on your keyboard just once. Now we are here to create the pockets. So add a layer, go to layer, new layer, make sure it's above the last layer here. And now we're gonna go to the shape tool, go to line, and we're gonna start on the right side of the template here. So I suggest making a straight line like so. Go to the Bezier tool, Click where you ended that last line here and just go up with it. Now let go and then create kind of an arched effect like so. As you can tell, this pocket is like really long, which is weird looking. So I'm going to go to the arrange tool. I am going to slightly move it over by clicking and dragging. And so now we don't like how the line is going past the black line. So I'm going to go to the select tool and just select and click backspace on your computer. Click anywhere, and now we're gonna go to the range tool again, duplicate that, flip horizontal, and push that right over there. You obviously don't have to add the whole thing onto the other side. You can kind of cut it loose like this so it makes it look more smaller. Go to the select tool and just select and backspace on your computer to delete the access. So now once you have your pocket made, we are going to merge all the layers that are connected with it. So we're just gonna click Control-6 once. Now I'm going to click Duplicate, flip horizontal, and we're just gonna add it to the other side. After that, we're simply going to merge every single layer except for the template layer. Now this part is totally optional, but I like to use I like to make like little lines on the side of my jeans to make it more detailed. So I'm just gonna go to the shape tool here, the line tool, change the size to one, zoom into the right side of the template, start in the middle of this torso side here and just drag up. You don't want it going past these extra lines though. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are going to start in the middle of the side here, click and then drag up. After that, we are going to go to the bottom where the legs are, go to the second rectangle here, and do the same thing. So now we're quickly going to make the little belt loops, and to do that, we're going to add another layer. So click layer, new layer, make sure you're on the shape tool, select the line tool, zoom in. And honestly, you can add these loops anywhere, but I suggest doing it like in between the pockets and the zipper. So all we're doing is making a diagonal line. It doesn't have to be perfect, really. And now we're gonna go to Arrange, Duplicate, and then just move it right next to it. And now we're just going to merge both layers. So just click Control-6 once. Now we're going to add it to the other side. So we're gonna click Duplicate flip horizontal and just push it to the other side like so.
So once you have added them to each side of the little torso part, we are going to merge every single layer, excluding the template. So we're going to click Control-6, 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 and Control-6. So now it's just one big layer. All right, so here's the fun part. We are going to color in the outline. So to do that, we're going to go to Layer, New Layer, and move it underneath everything. Once that is finished, you can select whichever color you want your pair of jeans to be. Now we're going to go back to the blank layer that we just made and we are going to go to the select tool and just select the areas that you want that color to be, but make sure it's inside of the outline we made. Once you have it selected, we are going to go to this little fill tool and just click anywhere inside of the selected part. After that, you're going to go back to the select tool, click anywhere, and now if there's like pieces that are outside of the outline, Line, we can simply erase those no problem and to do that we're gonna click eraser change the brush size and then just delete the axis that we don't want so once you have that all colored in we are going to go back to our browser and search up gene texture now you're just gonna want to find the one that you want to use copy go back to pixlr paste it and then move the layer on top of everything. Go to arrange and just play around with these little squares and fill in the colored top. So once it's only in where the color is, we are going to go to these three dots on the layer, go to blend mode, and then change it to overlay. Once that's finished, you can either like keep it really harsh like this, or you can turn down the transparency. Once you like it, we are going to then click locked. So we won't have to worry about clicking it all the time. Once that's finished, we are going to go back to the color picker tool and just select the color here. We're gonna go to this little circle here and just click and drag this little circle making it a darker color click ok and now we're gonna click the outline layer go to adjustment color lookup click this little raindrop and then drag it to the other side and then click apply so after you did that i'm going to show you guys how to like shade a bit to do that i am going to go to the layer click new layer and move it right underneath the outline layer. Once that is finished, you are going to select the color black, and then we're gonna go to the shape tool. Make sure the size is on one. Select the line tool, and we're just gonna make these little itty bitty lines inside here. Now I'm gonna go to the bezier tool and basically just mimic the pocket lines here. And now simply just mimic the little zipper here, like so. So once that's finished, we are going to go to the Arrange tool, we're going to go to Filter, Details, and then click Blur. Play around with the amount that you want, I suggest like 7 looks pretty clean. Click Apply, go to the three dots on the layer, and play around with the transparency. Once you have it how you want, just click the X. And now we're going to make another layer. So go to layer, new layer, go to this little shape tool thing, click line, make sure it's on one, and just make these little like lines going through like the belt area. So if you have different layers of these little lines, just merge them all into one big layer, like so. Now here's the fun part. You can go to filter, details, blur, and maybe just put it on two or three. Don't go really high for this though because we kind of want it to look like lines. Click apply, go to these three lines here on the layer and just play around with the opacity here. So guys, this looks so nice. I'm so proud of you guys if you made it this far. We are professionals. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to add a tad more shading on the leg part. So we're basically just gonna be following the same concept that we've been doing. So um, add a layer 
and then we're gonna go to the shape tool like usual go to the bezier tool now and now basically just make these little curvy lines not so like curvy curvy but like going in one another so basically just follow the same pattern I'm doing so see how they're just like really random that is what you want And now we're going to do the same thing for each side of the torso part. So once you have the whole like torso part filled this with those weird lines, we are then going to make them on the leg part. So basically just follow the same pattern. So, um, So once you have all those lines in one big layer, which are covered on all parts of the pants, we're going to duplicate that layer. We're going to move that layer we just made on top. Move the lines right over one another. Slightly move it over now. That part is confusing, but just basically make it so there's like a line in between both two lines. We are now going to go to this little circle here to change the color choose white go to adjustments color lookup move this little raindrop to the other side click apply now we're going to move that layer back down to where it was we are going to merge both weird line layers and now we are going to go to the filter details blur and then blur it the amount that you want. Um, 17 is pretty cute. Um, just basically make it look like it's like kind of like ruffly, not ruffly, but like make it look realistic. Click apply, go to the three dots, go to blend mode, overlay, and play around with the transparency if you would like. All right, so now we're gonna add some white shading to the top. So we're going to add another layer. We are going to go to the brush tool, Make sure the color is on white, change the brush size to whatever you want, and just fill in where the pockets would go. You can obviously fill in the little zipper part too. Now we're going to go back to the shape tool, go to line, make sure the outline is three, and just make some lines where the belt would go. Now we are going to go to filter, details, blur, and choose the blur amount that you want. Click apply, go to the three dots here, and play around with the transparency. Like so! Okay, so you can obviously stop here if you want to make a simple pair of jeans, but that is not what we're here for. We are here to make patch jeans. So. This part I suggest going on Pinterest and now um, I will link my profile in the description down below because we have like a bunch of cool like different things here and once you are on my page you're going to want to go to the designing textures and then find three specific like textures that you want to make the patches out of. Alright so I found these three different textures and what I'm going to do now is copy them into Pixlr, paste the image by clicking Control V on your keyboard, go to Arrange, and move the little image on top of everything. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the other two images. So now you're gonna wanna choose the one that you wanna start off with. I think I'm gonna go with this little pink plaid. So if you want to, you can click this little visible option on the other two pictures and now we're going to make it the size that you want and now basically go down to the legs and then you're gonna decide if you want like a rectangle shape or like a square shape um I think that's pretty nice and if you want to delete some sides to it you can go to the select tool select and then click backspace on your keyboard now we're going to move that layer underneath 
make sure it's the first layer that's underneath the template layer. So now we're going to do the same thing for the other images. Just place them wherever you would like on the leg part. This is completely optional, but if you want to take the same texture and then add it to where the pockets are, you can do that. So all I'm going to do is like fill in the pockets with the texture I want, and then I'm going to duplicate that and then move that layer underneath the outline of the jeans layer. So you should see the outline of the jeans, and once you do, you're going to want to make sure that you're on the floral texture or whatever texture you chose. You're going to want to go to the eraser tool and erase the axis. And well, bam! So now what I like to do to add more like detail to them is I like to add a layer, find that layer, and then drag it to the top. Make sure it's underneath the little template layer. And once it is on the top, I like to go to the little pen tool. Make sure the variant is on sketchy and size 1, the amount 30, and the opacity 100. Now I like to zoom in and then just make like these little ruffles, making it look like it's kind of sewed onto it. So all I'm doing is just like clicking and dragging, making these like weird lines. And now you can do the same thing for the other little images here. Once that is finished, I am going to go to the three dots and then kind of make it so it's kind of transparent, so it's not that harsh. And wha-bam! Guys, you just created your own pair of like wash jeans with patches on them <laughs> so it looks really cute like it's pretty cute for cottagecore theme or like you know softcore um this is definitely it you guys have to do this and yeah so that is the end for this pair um and let's get on with the next pair so just a reminder we will be doing this pair now um i won't be including the shading part for this one because we already know how to do it. I explained how to do it on the other thing that we just did. So um, I'll just show you how to make the outline and how to color it in. So basically we're going to make the outline again for the jeans. So once you're done making the little jean basic outline, um, we are going to make like the outline for the patches. So here I'm just looking at an inspo. So um, I would basically make lines where it should be and where it is on the inspo. So basically, um, I'm going to go to the shape tool. I'm going to make sure I'm on that new layer. Make sure you're online. And now just follow what I do at this point. So I'm just going to make a straight line like so and now I'm going to make another line on the other side looking back at the inspo there's one two three little lines here so um, we already have one on that side we're gonna make a second one and the bottom of our jeans is the third so now on the other side of the leg there's only two so um, we already have one right there now we're just going to add the other one. Let's put it right. Let's put it right there because the beige color is going to be really showing there. On the sides, you're just going to want to eyeball it. So I suggest putting lines wherever you think would look best. And now just do it on the other side as well.
Alrighty, so once you have your lines made where the patches are gonna go, we are going to fill in the patches. So now we're going to make another layer. We're gonna move that layer underneath everything. We are going to follow the reference here and we're gonna click this little color picker and select the colors that are there. All right, so now you're gonna really look at the reference that you're using and notice how the little belt is brown. So we'll color the belt brown. We're going to color the right leg beige, brown, white, and brown. So basically we are going to go to the select tool. We're going to select half of the torso and the bottom like so. And as you can see in the reference, it's beige on one side and brown on the other. So we're going to go to the bucket tool and color it beige. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other half of the torso and the bottom, but we're gonna make it brown. So we're gonna switch the colors, go to the fill in tool and just click inside of it. Now, if you want, you can pick whatever color to fill in the sides. I say switch it up a bit. So since it's already beige, I would go for like a dark brown. Go to the select, click anywhere, select this side now. And I think I'm gonna go for a white. So yeah, and go to fill, fill that in. Go to the select tool. I'm gonna do half beige. So make sure that's the top color. Go to fill, click that. Go to the select tool, click anywhere. Make, select the other side. Click on one of these little color balls here. Select the brown. Okay, go to fill and fill that in. So basically we're just gonna follow that same process with the rest of these little lines here. As you can see, we have to still connect the rest of the beige. So I'm going to select this area here, go to this little color picker, just pick that, go to the fill bucket, fill that in, go to select, click anywhere. And now by finishing off, we have to connect the dark brown now. So just make a little rectangle, go to the color picker, Click that, go to the little fill bucket and fill that right in. Now I'm gonna leave it to you guys and you're basically going to fill in the rest of these little line square rectangle things. All right, so once you have the patches covered, we are going to cover in the little belt outline. So um, in my reference, the color is like the really dark brown. So I'm going to select that by using the color picker. I'm gonna click that little bubble and then move the little bubble a little down so it's a darker brown. Click okay. We're gonna add another layer. So layer, new layer. I am going to just fill it in now. So once you have the belt outline covered in, we are going to go to the range tool. We are going to click the outline layer, move it on top of everything if it's not already there. And now we are going to click the little bubble again and make it even darker. Click OK. Go to adjustment, color lookup, and just move this raindrop by clicking and then dragging to the other side and click apply. Once that is finished, we are going to go to the patches layer. So that's like all the lines, the white lines layer. And now we are going to click these three lines here. Go to blend mode and click overlay and play around with the transparency. So now I will be right back. I'm gonna do my shading, just like I shaded the other patch jeans. So um, yeah, I'll be back after I'm done shading. One hour later. All right, and to top it off with like details on the little patches, 
we are going to add like some stitches slash ruffles and to do that I'm going to add another layer um, make sure it's underneath like the template layer go to the little pen tool make sure the color is on white make sure it's on sketchy size 1 30 and 100 and basically we're just going to make like little little lines like we did on the other patches on the other jeans so just like weird lines kind of clean it up a bit by selecting and deleting it arrange duplicate flip vertical and basically just wow those are huge but whatever you get the idea I don't want this video to be like an hour long but basically merge the layers and just add them to each little patch Once that is done, just make it one big layer with all the little stitching. So, control six, control six. Like so. And if you don't like how harsh it is, you can go to the three dots and then play around with the transparency. And wha bam! So, that is how you make both pairs of patch jeans. I know this was a long video, um, but I'm happy if you made it through. Um, and I'm so proud of you and yeah let me know what you would like to see next I love you guys so so much thank you for tuning in and thank you for all your love and support I love you so so much and yeah have a great day bye